Good morning everybody. Today is Tuesday. Lauren and I have just had a little morning coffee meeting and now we are on our way to shoot some stuff. And I thought I would intro this vlog because I feel like I haven't spoken to you a lot recently. I really like my outfit today. We are taking some pics of this. My bag is on her first outing, which I'm very happy about. So yeah, I had a weekend off of, did I have a the weekend? Did I vlog at the weekend? No, you vlogged at the weekend. Oh, did I? Cool. I didn't have the weekend off of vlogging. Lauren just recapped to me what I did over the weekend, because I don't remember. I think because I'm only just catching up on all of my sleep from the lack of it last week, my brain is not retaining any like short term information. So <laughs> that's good. But yeah, Sunday, it was just like a nice chilled day. Saw my friend and her family and didn't really vlog. I saw my goddaughter and stuff and it was just like nice and chilled. So yeah, I feel like I'm finally back on top of my life now. Cause yesterday I just kind of like sorted everything out work wise and did like double gym and I'm super, super happy. So feeling really good. Honestly, going back to the gym, made such difference because I didn't go to the gym at all last week because I was so so poorly and I needed to let my body like recover and I just feel amazing for having actually left the house like for an extended period of time that wasn't you know strenuous and work related and stressful and oh space yes but yeah I feel so so good for having worked out cannot recommend it enough if you're feeling brownie don't eat a brownie go to the gym <laughs> You know, I had that one. If you're down, eat a brownie. That is so bad. It's too sad. It's too sad. It's <laughs> and that's not good. I really want to get us like Team Hello October t-shirts with that on it. <laughs> We're going to be so funny. We really need to do oh, that. It'll be yeah. the best, the actual best. So yeah, that is what we are up to today. I'll be back with you in a little bit when I can like show you my outfit when I'm home. Yeah, because I have some things to show you at home. That are trench coat related. Don't let me forget. Okay, <laughs> got it. <laughs> Come for lunch. This looks so good. I've been craving pancakes for the longest time. Thank you. Very, very, very excited to eat these. Get in that gram. Yeah. One of the things I love most about Lauren is that every time she has food, she takes a picture. <laughs> Like, it's one of my favorite things about you. Hey, if it Everything. Good. Even if it does, even if a restaurant serves you something that doesn't look great, you, it's like you have a food diary on your phone of everything I that you really eat. Do. I really love it. It's, and it's bad for my storage. I'm interested <laughs> in it, but I love pancakes. Honestly, I die every time we go out for lunch. You don't even put it on stories or anything. I know, but I will do today. Gratitude journal. Exactly. Yeah. This Lauren's doing a gratitude for. journal on her Instagram and it makes me really happy. It's really sweet. It <laughs> That's why I'm doing it. It's important, guys. Be grateful. Yeah, the day one of the gratitude journal got her uh, golden circle at yeah. Ari. So I was saying to Ryan earlier, it was like one of us has really good karma. I know. We're still to work out who it is. Yeah. Really. I mean, he came up to me. <laughs> but then you did the gratitude journal. So. Exactly. Okay, so it's not me. Apparently. It still could be because I was with you. Yeah, okay. So, we're not we're not sure. Who has better karma, Susie or Lauren? Uh -oh. Hello everybody, I'm back. I thought I would show you today's outfit before, well, before I talk you through a few things that I have purchased. I basically was on a mission to find the perfect nude trench coat, which you will have seen me wearing earlier, and I have succeeded. And I wanted to show you kind of like the things that I picked and then my process of cutting it down. Basically this is a little new trench coat haul and my thoughts on each of the ones that I actually ended up picking up and testing. But I wanted to show you the base of my outfit first because I really like my outfit today. This white t-shirt is from Zara. The leather trousers are also from Zara. And then the heels are from Topshop. I know lots of people are probably thinking, aren't your feet really cold, Suze? No, they're not because Honestly, my feet are just always cold. Like I'm one of those people that just always tends to have quite cold feet, but they don't change in temperature. So in the summer they're cold and in the winter they're the same cold, but they don't get really cold, if that makes sense. Up until I kind of like have been standing posed like this for quite a long time. And then I started to lose like my circulation, but I'm okay for now because it's not the depths of winter yet. So yeah, very, very happy in these heels. It's actually quite nice to be able to wear a coat and then not have a lot on my feet. But anyway. I digress, long story. I know people just get funny about, I would be cold in that outfit, so therefore you must be cold. And no, I'm not cold. So just wanted to reassure everyone. But yeah, that is the base of my outfit. I really like it. And then I've just got my vintage Chanel bracelet and your friendship bracelet just really going quite over the top. 
there today but just kind of shoved them on this morning and I kind of liked it hadn't worn that combo in a really long time and then I also had my trench coat on and then this bag which some of you may have seen before some of you may not this is my new little Dior bag it's really cute it's just like a boxy style and you can kind of like hold the top handle or you can hold it like this or like this is very difficult to do one handed or like this which is my favorite way to hold it because i just think it's kind of cool and they once loaned me a bag that was a little bit like this where you put your hand through it in that way i'll try and find a pic where would that picture be hmm, i'll find it i just really like it it's cute and it reminds me of that so yeah that is a kind of base of the outfit and then i'll show you the trench coats now so my trench coats are hanging here just all ready for you guys so basically i have been on the hunt for the perfect nude trench coat for the longest time i've still got my cold can you hear i can't say nude trench coat very well and these were the three that I kind of whittled it down from or to because i have basically searched everywhere and seen loads of different styles loads of different colors i'd seen lots on quite a few different people and i just love the way they look but i knew i'd have to find the one that was right for me so i whittled it down to these three this one is from in the style this one is from mango and this one was from and other stories so i've got a kind of range in terms of pricing and then also i picked a range of different nudes as well because i wasn't sure which one was going to look best on me these are all a very very similar length the thing that they differ the most in is color and material i would say and this one has a slightly bulkier silhouette on the shoulders but i'm going to show you all of them now because i thought it might be interesting for you guys rather than just seeing the one that i loved and picked but see all of them instead and then you might like one of these colors more than the other i just thought it might be interesting for you guys this is the and other stories trench coat as you can see it's more of a yellowy beigey nude it's very oversized but i really love the lapel on this because it's way more oversized than the others and it also has like a split cuff which makes it look quite oversized as well you can do it up but it also kind of like falls like that it's like really oversized on the shoulders and i think that's kind of cool but i do think it kind of swamps me a little bit the material is really nice it feels like more linen-y which is kind of nice but the other ones are slightly more like silky i guess slightly more synthetic as well this one will probably i believe be slightly more breathable by the feel of this material but yeah it's very very cute i do think as well like tied it's very cool a little bit more like military style is that the word i'm thinking of like just really the big shoulders really reminds me of like it's quite an old style i do love it i'm gonna be really sad to say goodbye to it because it's very very cute very cute but i do just think i won't get the wear out of it in the same way i will out of something that is maybe a bit more pink in tone but i wanted to try it anyway just to see because you never know which kind of shade you're going to fall in love with the most so yeah i just wanted to show you this one i think it's really cute so it's definitely the more expensive of the bunch but you can really feel that in terms of the silhouette and the quality of the material oh god i do love it i can't i'm gonna have to take it off because otherwise i'm gonna convince myself i need to keep it and i don't so this one is from mango this is the most kind of neutral color i would say out of the three so it's not too pink and it's not too dark and it's not too light and not too yellow toned it's really really pretty i'd say it's the most like streamlined out of all of them like it creates a really straight silhouette and i really love the way it falls i think if you're looking for something that's not too oversized and does look very like almost like slinky i would say this is the one it just kind of falls very straight but kind of has a little bit of excess material at the bottom that just looks very pretty i'd say this is the most pretty out of all of them very very cute very very soft i just felt like the tone of this wasn't quite right and it wasn't as oversized like it's the tightest on the shoulders out of all of them which might be what gives it that kind of very straight look it might be one of the factors that kind of works in but yeah it's got like these kind of diagonal pockets they're not very visible i would say they're quite discreet so i think that kind of adds to how non-bulky it is like you can't really see anything here it just kind of falls very straight and i actually find that because of that it, nothing's really breaking it up so it just looks very long line but yeah it's very very cute it's got this little brown button up here which i don't know if i love it feels really nice it's very smooth but it just kind of does look a bit weird it's not really my vibe and this it's got very thin kind of lapels that are very small and it's just like a little bit i don't know a little bit flimsy and i just didn't really feel like it was my favorite of the bunch yeah it's very very cute so if you wanted a lighter color i would say this is 
this is the one. It also doesn't have a metal bit on the chain like the Andor the Stories uh, trench did, so it's just slightly less noisy, slightly less annoying, because that was one of the downsides of the Andor the Stories belt kind of tie waist bit was it had a metal fastening on the end and it's just a bit clunky and a little bit annoying when you're walking around if you can hear it jingling i don't know am i the only person that gets really annoyed by that <laughs> just feel like it's really unnecessary but yeah it's very cute i do love but this one's going to be going back and finally we have my favorite of the bunch this is the trench from in the style this is from my friend lorna's range within the style which i love so many of the pieces that she makes with them and I really like this one because it's a slightly more pink tone than the mango coat and it's also slightly darker as well and I just feel like it works much better with the already existing tones within my wardrobe and I think it works slightly better with my skin tone as well it doesn't make me look as washed out as some of the others do it also has these buttons down the front on both sides and I find that really helps to like break it up and just makes it look a little bit less long than it already is because it is very long on me kind of almost ankle length and it has these tie cuffs as well you tie them yourself and you can tie them any way you like really but i tie them like this and i think it looks really cute so yeah this is my favorite of the bunch so this is what was kind of like topping off my outfit today and i just really love it so i wore this with my dior bag as i was saying earlier and then my dior sunglasses as well which i have been really enjoying wearing recently they were a nice birthday present to myself and yeah i just really love this look it's very very cute so yeah that was my OOTD so yeah that is my trench coat of choice from my little trench coat haul I hope you guys enjoyed this let me know if you would like me to do more of that where I show you kind of like a key piece that I've been trying to find for my wardrobe and then I'll show you like the options from where I'm whittling down from I just feel like it's kind of helpful to see the decision making process of how I get to something when I'm shopping so let me know if that would be interesting for you guys I think I'm off to go and buy some pumpkins and some flowers now so i'll probably bring you along with me yeah feeling all the halloween and autumnness today tiny pumpkins mm. yeah they're cute they look like tiny pumpkins <laughs> these are nice as well What are these? These are crazy. And they're dried aliens. Wow. Where can I put those? <laughs> Your face. <laughs> There we go. Cute. I like these little things. They look like crazy little pumpkins. Aww. Yeah, very happy with that. I'm going to take a lot of joy in lighting this autumn comfort candle and staring at these flowers later. Basic bitch autumn, 2K19. Is it 2019? Yeah. <laughs> yes, babe. <laughs> yeah, very happy with that. Hopefully they'll last until I have the girls over for Halloween next week. If not, excuse to go get some more flowers to be honest um and i have ordered my pumpkin they used to the florist that i go to used to have a certain amount pre-made and they don't anymore which is weird because they used to sell out really really quickly but i've ordered one so i'm picking that up on friday i'm so excited they're literally my favorite thing if you have been following my instagram for a few years you will have definitely seen them before because they're what i'm all about in life in halloween in life, basically. So happy. Hello everybody, today has been a stress. This afternoon was a stress, so I didn't really vlog very much, but I'm just getting ready to go to Ryan's. I have my stuff packed, complete with laptop, giant bar of chocolate, full bag of skincare. 
Are you ready to drive me? No. Yeah, you don't look ready. <laughs> I'll be driving. <laughs> I'm gonna have to carry you. Yeah. Mm hmm Yeah, six foot two, let's see how that works out. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so yeah, we will see you tomorrow for a brand new vlog. Do you wanna say bye to the people? Bye people. <laughs> <laughs>Hey what guys, I've got some really good karma. I spilt my coffee this morning onto my hand, it went all down onto the floor and I came away with that. I spilt so much coffee. Someone is on my side. Literally was home for all of five seconds before I got back in the car, dressed, ready to shoot. We had quite a last minute brief come in last night and uh, meant that we needed to do a last minute shoot today so we have come out to i don't even really know where we are a place called berlin gap which has like a cool beach and uh oh my voice is going and we're gonna shoot some stuff for a brand so yeah let's pray i can get down onto this beach and pray we can shoot without there being a ton of people pray pray basically what is this dent in my face like why does why is that there do you have like dimples in your cheeks Look, solid. Look at it. Why is that there? Yeah, why? Well, it's so annoying. That's where I've come to. Not okay with the height situation here. Feeling very unsteady. <laughs> Things I do for the gram. Mad. Why did I tell you? This is really pretty. Guys, I think everyone should come here. It's really gorgeous. Much nicer than Brighton Beach. I wonder if this gets busy when it's actually hot weather. I would love this. The rock pools. Of the rock pools. Ooh! No? Is that actually a thing? <laughs> what? Yeah, you get like a bed and a bucket and you're like... Oh my god! Like, like in Matilda! <laughs> it's a new... What, the, what is it they say? <laughs> it's a new... It's a new... Anyway, yeah. Cute really like it here so far. Let's pray we get the shot. Hope you all enjoy my review of Berlin Gap and the Seven Sisters. <laughs> it was like, it sounds like you're moving here. <laughs> Literally reviewing it. <laughs> oh, it's sad too. Lovely. We just wrapped up shooting. I look windswept because I am. Very, very cute down here though. Slightly treacherous though. We've almost died like six times. Verdict on the beach. It's very pretty. It's just, I can't really feel my feet. It's <laughs> my like an extreme <laughs> massage. <laughs> yeah, I would give it an eight out of 10 stars. Do highly recommend. I really need to sort my hair out. It was definitely windy down here. My hair, it's definitely looked better. <laughs> Please enjoy these stories and pictures as they go up. And just know that we nearly died like 20 times <laughs> trying to get them. Thank you. Lauren's got road rage, so I'm turning the camera on because it's funny. <laughs> I haven't got road rage. People don't know where we're going. <laughs> and we don't know where we're going, which isn't helping. Lauren just screamed the word indicate <laughs> louder than I've ever heard her shout before. <laughs> I don't know where we're going. <laughs> we're just driving around to the industrial park. <laughs> No? Oh, yeah, yeah, there. We're getting a coffee from a drive through. I can't actually breathe. <laughs> it's a cage! <laughs> it's a that was beautiful. What coffees? What coffees? Thank you. Do you collect the stickers? No. The little beans. Yeah. I know it's, it's really fun. Beans. Like, peels off. Yeah, but no one, like, who comes to McDonald's enough to, like, really like their I know, coffees. it's because it's cheap as well, which is obviously great for everyone's bank account. Oh my god, <laughs> is that a hot dog? <gasps> Shall we? Oh my god. Oh god, no, because now... No, because it's never as good as it tastes. No, it's never as good as it smells. Tastes. Oh, is it not? No. No. We're being really good. Yeah. Going home to our meal prep, even though we're tired. So tired. I asked Ryan to take me for a pub dinner. Oh. 
god. I've really got my heart set on one now. Like I feel like I woke up wanting one. I'm driving this way, but I actually don't know where we're going. So put your hands on the wheel. <laughs> they are. They're one, two. Oh god. Oh god, really we're fine. We came from that way. No, we, what? We did. We, I've never seen this I've house seen before. I've seen those houses before. I recognise it. <laughs> what do I go? Going straight over the about. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at this driving <laughs> analogy. I'm oh. sorry, because you're the best driver out of both of us. <laughs> God. I think it's places I don't know very well. <laughs> you got us there. <laughs> I tell you, my brain doesn't retain information very well. <laughs> right, I'm really distracting Lauren from driving with this camera, so I'm putting it away and I will see you guys in a bit. Bye. Good morning, everybody. So it is Friday, and I thought today I would sit and do a little like QA chat with you because we're kind of in the middle of editing like me and lauren are just back and forth editing videos trying to get everything out for you this week so i'm not particularly doing um anything interesting uh which i'm sorry is so dull during vlogtober that's not what you want to hear it's not what i want to be doing either but we have a backlog i'm much better now like fully recovered i can actually speak without sounding disgusting so that is all great but not really doing very much which i'm very sad about so i thought i would round up this vlog with a little q a chat which is kind of nice because i feel like during vlogtober everything is very reactive and i actually am just constantly vlogging like i'm doing this and i don't get to just like sit and chat and chill with you and actually so much always changes like over the course of a month that i feel like it's nice to kind of like take a moment and just kind of sit and chat and regroup on where we are yeah we actually only have a week left of vlogtober i think i'm going to carry this on into next month a little bit just to make up for the fact that there was one week where only one video went out longest skincare video in the world by the way um thank you for all the love on it though so yeah i thought i would just answer some questions i have to say the amount of when are you planning on having children questions that have read up again now that I am no longer single is ridiculous so the answer to that is never and that is the official party line the fact that I've literally been like not single for like five minutes to you guys and I've already been asked about having children very overwhelming I'm not end of what's the best thing that's happened to you today my eyebrows looked really bad like they still look kind of bad but I managed to save them that's where we're at today I've not really got very far where are you hoping to travel to next the coffee shop I'm literally I just don't want to go anywhere right now I just want to be home <laughs> just want to be home for a bit this summer was kind of crazy so I'm just I'm traveled out and I think that's okay yeah so the furthest I really want to go is the corner shop to be honest are you an organ donor why are you planning on killing me and trying to get my organs i mean who isn't an organ donor these days as well like come on do the responsible thing honeys what music have you been obsessed with recently so i am obsessed with this album actually i'm obsessed with this playlist on spotify i will link it i love it and then also this album where is it where is it, where is it? this album so so good love it so i will link both of those in the info box for you because i am obsessed got two questions literally side by side about living with someone else again i wonder who you're all talking about <laughs> do you like living with someone do you think you're ready to live with someone else again um no no i take up a lot of space and i work at really irregular hours and i just don't feel like um that is really a super super healthy behavior firstly and also you know the taking up a lot of space is a real thing i need a lot of space to work with i need to just be able to film um at the drop of a hat and it just makes sense uh for me if i have my own space especially because i don't just work like alone either so obviously lauren you guys know lauren works for me we are basically always together throughout the day more so than anyone else that has ever worked for me we are literally like joined up the hip and for someone else to then have to kind of like have the two of us around all the time that is quite a lot that's a big thing to put on someone else and it's also it's a big thing to put not necessarily on a relationship 
like a romantic relationship but any relationship so if i had housemates it is a very strange dynamic as having someone in your house all the time that doesn't live there and that you didn't choose to be there if that makes sense so like for whoever else i might live with they lauren comes part of past part and parcel that's the word is that the word that she's part of me and so i choose to have lauren around but if i lived with someone else that wouldn't necessarily be their choice so it's a very awkward situation and i did try a co-working space and stuff like that but it didn't work for me because i like to be noisy when i work and <laughs> people don't like that in co-working spaces apparently even though there's a quiet section yeah so i don't really see that changing at any point in the future really we're both the same age somehow i never put adult enough to you no i never feel like an adult i feel like a child who is like no actually i don't always i this is this feeling has got better over the past like year i would say but for a lot of my life i have and i would say the past like six or so years no let's go eight i felt very much like a child pretending to be an adult and then you see like people around you who are like maybe a couple of years older and you're like they're an adult <laughs> you know like they're, they've got their shit together and I never really felt like I had my shit together and I still don't really. It's better. The feeling is better. I feel more like I do have it together but I still always think of myself like you do see people that are like a couple like three years older than you and you're like oh wow they're a proper adult like here's my adult supervision present. They have arrived. Yeah. No, I think we're I think it's such a normal feeling as well and everyone kind of like is we're all sitting there internally like everyone else just has it together and I don't and that is not true my friends that is not true none of us really know what we're doing we're just winging it lots of boyfriend questions in general I'm not I'm just gonna like put it out there just because I don't want to repeatedly feel rude for ignoring questions but I'm just not gonna be answering questions like that until I feel comfortable really I think it's kind of weird when you kind of have a new relationship because although you guys are all lovely and you're just you know you just want to know like if i was talking to a friend i would just tell them but there's this weird thing where you're just very aware as a human being making videos on the internet that ex-partners can then watch these videos so for you you actually don't give a crap about like really you're not that invested however there are these ex people that can like watch things and i just find that a bit weird to then be giving people that you vaguely know but don't necessarily want to give this information to <laughs> all of this information if that makes sense and i feel like i just really want to say that because i don't think it's um something that is you know talked about very much but i'm just very aware of like people watching that aren't you guys that aren't you guys i'm being very careful with my wording there but yeah just for privacy in general i feel like it's best that i don't really want to talk about it yet and that is that is that do you think it's worth it to try blogging slash youtube when so many people are already doing it i think it's so worth doing it if you just want to do it as a passion and like when I started YouTube, I actually started it because I didn't have very, very many hobbies on my CV and I'd been watching people and I kind of got to a point where I was like, oh, I found a little niche that I like and actually I do think there's space for me and that's cool. And also this would help if I ever applied for a new job and I wanted something cool to put on my CV. And that did work really well, by the way, really, really well. I'm fortunate to have amazing past employers that really valued that as a hobby and didn't just like smirk it and just kind of brush it away. I would say if you're interested in it for that reason and not for financial gain then start just start you will love it and it's really rewarding like having the kind of back and forth chat like especially on Instagram like in my DMs I just love it um but I do think if you're trying to get into it because you don't like your current job and you think that this looks really fun and you wanna leave, number one, doing Instagram as a job solo, doing YouTube as a job solo and doing both of them like solidly, solidly together are three very different job roles, I would say. So you need to be prepared for that. They're not all the same. And number three is actually, I can't do the third what am i doing the, th the third job role doing both instagram 
and YouTube su successfully together is incredibly difficult and I think that's not something that a lot of people talk about and it can be quite overwhelming at times which sounds so st I know some people are going to be like this girl just clearly cannot cope with life but it is a lot um, to have so much going on on so many different platforms and you are constantly split between them so I would say you need to be prepared for that if I think a lot of people kind of talk to me and they're like oh I just don't like my current job and you know doing Instagram looks really you know fun and I'd like to do that um, and each of those kind of like job roles let's call it that has like different pressures and different stresses and have different in terms of like finances have different values so it's not necessarily going to be worth it to if you're thinking of leaving a job to just do one of those things or all of those things especially if you don't already do them I, there are some people that are like I'd love to leave my job and do it but you know I haven't started yet and I'm like you need to like do it solidly for like a good three years I would say until you leave your job to kind of pursue it financially because you need to love it heart and soul before you get into it because otherwise there are certain aspects of the job uh, which I don't really want to talk about because I don't like to moan uh, I think people also see this job as a very blessed job and they don't want to hear me moaning about it which is fine because I also don't need that negativity in my life but I do think that you know to pursue it financially as your main interest it's not worth it to try and do that now you have to love it and then if you make money off of it then that's like a bonus but I do think pursuing it as a job especially when the market is so saturated is a big risk and it won't necessarily make you happier in life. I hope I answered that well. I've never answered that question before. It's quite a weighty question. I've got a few makeup questions. So one is literally, when are we having a makeup tutorial next? And the answer for you will be two days ago. It should be live by now. So I'll link that in the info box for you. Um, and someone else has also asked, what foundation do you currently wear? So I will link to my makeup tutorial and for any makeup questions you can go and watch that. Lots of questions on whether I'm going to continue my clothing line and the answer is no purely because I took the feedback that I got on board in regards to kind of like sizing and catering to a I don't know how to word this a more diverse audience and I kind of made the decision that I don't really want to add a product to the market unless it really ticks every box and it is like you know as sustainable as possible and it literally caters to all sizes and is one of those kind of products that is a bit of a bridge in the market in terms of not being super super cheap but also not being like ridiculously expensive so it's kind of like more available to everyone we try to work those kind of like tweaks and kinks out and kind of get it right and especially like the sizing was so so important to me and it just wasn't working which is very frustrating and it's just something I don't want to produce a product long term that isn't you know something that everyone can wear and you know it just I just don't want to produce something that is not perfect um, and especially in the current situation of you know there's so many different retailers and so many different retailers that are doing things really well in certain aspects I don't think anyone's got it perfect yet but I don't there's no need to add like a half product to the market and I think to kind of promote that over promoting like other brands that are way more inclusive. Inclusive is the word I've been trying to think of, god my brain isn't awake yet. But to kind of promote my own brand over brands that are way more inclusive just doesn't feel right. So yeah that is on hold until I can find a way to tick all of the boxes that I want to tick. I still fucking love my hoodie and I wear it a lot so yeah but I just don't see the point in creating a product when I can't do it how I want to do it. Do you ever think of becoming a pro dancer? Yeah, all the time, babes. No, uh, that's not something that has ever crossed my mind, not even for a second. Oh, by the way, I'm kind of flicking through questions and there's some repeat questions. So what I'm gonna do is link a playlist of like previous Q and A's for you to go and watch. I am just aware of like for long-term viewers that the same questions over and over and over again can get quite boring. So I'm gonna link a playlist of previous Q and A's down below for you i'd love to see your handbag collection that is coming up that is on my list like that is one of the top videos on my list of things that i need to film at the moment i just need to get around to it i literally have like a schedule over the next like five days of like two videos that i want to try and well not five days because i've got the weekend but like the next kind of week of videos that i want to film like and there's like two every day so that's ambitious but 
hopefully will get somewhere and that will get filmed it will because it's like right at the top of the list how are you doing at the moment it's very sweet of you to ask i'm tired my brain is overwhelmed by all of the things that i want to do and need to do and don't want to do but have to do <laughs> and by you know the fact that it's retail season and we have deliveries coming in left right and center my flat needs tidying it's a lot right now what are your plans for the new year i honestly things are so kind of like all over the place at the moment just with like i need to focus on my work for this year that i haven't really had a chance to kind of like plan anything for next year yet there's only a couple of months left to the decade so i should probably start thinking about that some more at the moment i'm just trying to make the end of this decade a success so Anna. and on that note i'm gonna round this up because that drilling is gonna come back in a second and it's just like going straight through my head and you guys don't need to hear that i bet you can't even hear it when i edit this and i'll just be really annoyed but yeah i'm gonna get back to work